was someone picking up after their dog. I had to document it. I can't speak for native Parisians, but I have to say the immigrants have been very friendly. Sunday night, we stopped on the way home and persuaded to have a beer with some Algerians. And today on my way home, I was stopped, complimented on my hat, and persuaded to have two beers with a Romanian. Uh, I was a little distracted by the TV. There was Romanian music on, music videos, um, behind the guys singing in front of a blue screen. There were some uh, girls half-heartedly dancing in poor lighting and bad costume design. Metro car, all to myself. Where shall I sit? Feels good. So I was on my way home and get stopped after I got my hat and invited to drink some beer in a little bar. Um, it's pleasant. It's very nice. Um, and then I got texted and asked to go out with friends. So I didn't even make it home. I'm going out again. It's very different from LA. Where I don't get invited to anything. <laughs> time on my last update uh, and I was tired too but I wanted to mention Saturday getting my iPhone to work uh, took me like two or three hours to do this um, I went to the phone house because I thought they could tell me the best plan the best thing to do um, I really need to know more French I'm working on it um, this is a barrier to getting things done um, they sent me to SFR because that's the SIM card I already had I went there, um, they told me something about their machine not working that day um, to top things up, but I, I don't know, maybe they misunderstood me because I go back there. After going to F FNAC, uh, they sent me there um, to get a top-up card, um, but they did not have something for the internet, they only had um, for texts and calling, um, but they did have a guy there that spoke uh, English. So uh, he told me I had to go back to SFR to get, who is that? Um, to get uh, the internet plan so my email wouldn't cost a fortune. So I did that, I went back to SFR and this time someone understood me and um, showed me a machine where I could choose English and top it up so that I had an internet plan for the next 20 days. That ends uh, like the end of the month now. Um, so I can check email. They got my uh, Wi-Fi working. It wasn't working for some reason. They typed in a code. and Now I can use a compass and uh, it really helped me out yesterday when I hopped out of a metro and didn't know which direction to go. Um, so that's a lifesaver. I really do like the iPhone. I do have some problems with it, but overall it's very helpful. Mm, I forget what I've done. Um, yesterday I went to a vintage store and I got a dress. It fits. It's pink. I have to iron it and then I will show it to you. And I got a uh, coat. It's like a velvet coat. Um, he actually knocked it down in price quite a bit. So I got the coat and the dress for less than the coat originally was. Um, but uh, I'm trying to make my wardrobe nicer. I want to dress a little more um, sophisticated. Not sophisticated, old-fashioned, I guess. Um, so I will show you that dress uh, when I iron it in the mirror. And the jacket, too. Although, uh, here in this room, the lighting never seems very good, does it? Um, sorry about that. I just, uh, now that I have the webcam, it's a whole lot easier than uh, doing things on the camera. Um, oh, yes, okay. Wednesday, there was an audition to be an extra on a Woody Allen movie, Midnight in Paris. 
Um, so I thought I'd just head on over there. I was a little scared because I'm used to going to things in LA where things people are a little cranky. But the casting women were very kind, very sweet, and they spoke English. And uh, they said, you know, we don't care if you've got papers. It doesn't matter to us. We'd love you to come work. Um, I have to cut my hair too, I think. It's like a period thing. Because um, the guys need a special haircut as well. But they said uh, production obviously needs uh, paperwork for, you know, production crap. Um, they said maybe I could check the embassy and see if there's like a one day work pass I can get. And uh, I don't know if I'll get there today, um, but I, I, uh, I will go check that out. I'm, I'm doubting it though. Um, but um, we'll see, maybe. Um, I'm answering a lot of little ads uh, for acting and modeling and whatnot. I uh, met up with some film people yesterday, um, and they might have something for me to work on while I'm here. Um, there was also, on my way back from this audition, uh, there was a protest. they were teachers. I'm not totally sure. And then yesterday, I'm going to meet the film people. There was another protest. They are illegal workers protesting, um, which I kind of found a little funny. Um, I don't have enough time here to really talk about this, but anyway, illegal workers protesting in France. Um, so you can do that here. Maybe I should protest. Um, I feel like I might get kicked out of the country though. I don't know. Um, so yes, vintage stuff, protests, audition. Um, I don't really have much of a plan for the rest of the week. I uh, decided that uh, the web series will have to wait. I would rather have some more people come on board and help me and make it something really good, something I am proud of, than try to rush it and um, work with my crappy writing and just waste time. I, I have you know, one shot at a first impression with this, and um, even if it means I have to wait, um, I'll just have to wait because I... I I'm not able to write this on my own. I am not able to direct and be the cinematographer and act and just do everything on my own. I can't, I just don't want to do this. I, one thing or another. Um, so, so that's going to have to wait and I'm trying to think of something else I could do. Um, and it's probably time to cut this video in half. So we will, uh, Pick this up uh, on uh, part two.